Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler. Welcome to my TTM Monday autograph recap video. These are my autograph returns that I sent TTM through the mail during the week of June 20th, 2021. I've been sending out seven requests a week, and I got seven requests back last week. Most of them are vintage football or vintage baseball, so that's pretty cool. And uh, all addresses are found on SCN or SCF. I greatly prefer SCN, so please do not ask me for addresses. I upload a TTM video every Monday, and I upload an autograph or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so three times a week. So I would appreciate if you would like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And let's get started here. First up, I got five of five in 56 days. I have never sent to Kenny Perry before. And I saw online that he was legitimately racking them up. So I usually do not send five requests unless if it's paid. But I did here, and I don't send duplicates, but this is kind of even crossing that line too. I mean, this one has the stamp, this one doesn't, so they are different. <laughs> See, it's all, all about justification, right? <laughs> anyway, a five of five from Kenny Perry, who has a great autograph and strategically was signing those autographs in certain spots. Looks great on the autograph card. Next up, I've sent to Aeneas Williams two other times. I've been actively TTMing for over six and a half years, and this was the third time I ever sent to him. In the previous two times, he had signed two cards. Well, he only signed one card this time, and that's all right. He signed the card I would have preferred, and I always appreciate the Bible verse inscription. So he did one of two in 15 days. All right, next up. This is the second time I've ever sent to J.C. Martin. Three of three in eight days. I included a $5 donation because of the cards that I sent. First up, we got one of these Milton Bradley cards. He inscribed it with his White Sox year. And then there's these two cards from 1960. That card says J.C. Martin, but that's Gary Peters. J.C. Martin's over here. It's an error. It's an uncorrected error. This card says Gary Peters. Well, that's Gary Peters over there, but that's J.C. Martin. So, the plan is to send to both of them. So I'm going to send a $5 donation along with these two cards. Probably a third card as well. But when I looked up on SCN recently, have not had a Gary Peters return in a month or so. There's some people who are waiting to get back. So I'm going to wait. I can be patient. Um, I don't want to send these two out if he stopped. And when you see a month-long lull in the action of a person who usually was returning in about two weeks... I'm not risking it, but I'm hoping this will work out. We shall see. First time I ever sent to Bob Aspromonte. Pretty cool cards here. Nice, nice autograph. Four of four plus an index card, so let's call it five of four in eight days. Bob Aspromonte. He strategically picked places to sign the cards as well. That's so cool. Five of four from Bob Aspermane. Now this next person is the first time I ever sent to this person. And I'm going to say it's five of three. I sent three cards. I'm going to say I got five things back. But I actually got more than that. But I don't want to show everything that was sent back. Um, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I'm just going to be quirky. I've got George Culver. Yeah, let, let's call it four of three. So we got, let's call it four of three. Three cards plus the index card. With the no-hitter inscription, I did not ask for that. He threw a no-hitter in 1968, and that's from 1969 cards, so that's pretty cool. And there's that. So, did toss in a little extra, but I don't want to show that. Just because of the copycat people in the TTM world. I would rather not. Okay, next up, second time. But that was so nice of George Culver. Like, I was ecstatic. I'm trying to hold it back here, obviously, by downplaying it. But um, second time I ever sent to Ike DeLock. He was 4 of 4 in 8 days. 
This return and my three previous returns were all sent on the same day, and they came back eight days later. That's so cool. But yeah, four of four and eight days from Ike the Lock. Nice vintage baseball cards. Got a lot of 1960 returns. And my seventh return for the week. Six of four. $20 donation. And it only took four days. He lives very local, and he is amazing when it comes to TTMing. Mr. Frank Thomas, the original one. That's a repop, Tops Archives. This was a specialty card that I had bought on eBay. Supposedly limited to 200. So someone made that <laughs> along the way. Now we got some original cards here. There's the 61. Oh, there we go with the Pirates uniform. That's from the 50s. And that's the card he included. And he also included his letter as well. So this is where the sixth item came from. He signed it right there. He also signed it on the back out with his really nice note. In the past, what I would do is I would cut this out to about the size of a trading card. I would cut it to where it says, you know, pretty much to where it says, thank you and God bless you for your kindness, and then cut it off there so it fits into a top loader still. But I'm actually putting this card into a sheet protector with a backing board behind it, and I'm just going to hold on to the entire letter. He puts so much time into this. i, I got to respect that. So that's what I'm doing here. So there you go. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite, what you think. I upload a TTM video on Monday, and I also upload an autograph or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I would appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.